Hey, what's up? Peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, the spiritual love healer. Coming to you today, I want to talk a little bit about spiritual love and just talk about a few things that I learned from Blurred Dating, which is a monthly Twitter chat that I absolutely love. Um, the topic last night was about the pursuit of nothingness. And I remember when I heard the topic, I'm like, mm, this sounds so really familiar. I think I've been there before. And it was really interesting because we had um, just a lot of dialogue about how men flirt versus how women may flirt. And essentially what it boils down to is that oftentimes we get in these situations where we are pursuing nothing because we have not been able to speak up and say what it is that we really want, um, whether we like a person, whether we just want to be friends with the person, whether, you know, we want to things to progress or go deeper. And what I find is that most of the time, people are so afraid of being hurt because they've been hurt before, or they don't want to be alone, or for a variety of other reasons that all have to do with some sort of internal wounding. So we are either afraid to speak up and say, I like you. We're afraid to speak up and say, you know what, this isn't working. I don't want to do this anymore. And instead of us being honest and communicating openly, we hide our feelings. And the end result of that can be either like stringing someone along, which it's not fun to be strung along thinking you're going in one direction and this person just has no plans, no intentions of truly honoring their commitment to you. And then the other thing is that, you know, we'll sit on the sidelines or just kind of sit things out, wait things out to see, or, you know, we create this relationship in our head because things seem so great. Like we spend, we're spending time together, we're talking, you know, it's got to be something. I can feel it. I know they feel it. So we just think everybody's feeling what we're feeling. And we don't know because we don't ever ask. And sometimes people are nice and they're spending time with you because they do like you. They genuinely, you, genuinely like you as a person, as a friend, as someone that they would, you know, just really enjoy spending time with. However, they don't see you as a romantic interest. So like, being honest about your intentions when it comes to relationships goes a long way. Think about how much stuff you could have avoided earlier on in life if you had just been honest with yourself and if other people had been honest with you. But the thing about it, like when we get into these situationships with people where we're not really sure what it is. We kind of like them. We think it's, you know, going this way or going that way. In your heart of hearts, chances are you already know what the deal really is. In your heart of hearts, the reason why you're not speaking up, the reason why you're silently wishing and hoping is because you know something ain't right right? You know, because if it was on and popping like you thought it was, there would be no fear to be like, you know what, this is what I want. This is what I see for us. This is, you know, these are my intentions. And this is where I would like the direction of this thing to go. But we don't do that out of fear. And fear, oh, fear is a mother for real. Like it will have you stop. It'll have you stuck. It will have you confused for no reason. And the reason being is that fear there are things that we conjure up in our mind. We can think of like the absolute worst case scenario, why not to do something instead of just doing it. And the thing might take just two minutes to just boom, make a phone call, boom, send a text message, boom, write an email, say hello. And we'll sit there and just imagine all of these horrible things happening. And so, it's important that we get our hearts and our minds into alignment, not only so that we can have nice, harmonious, healthy relationships, but so that we can be like at peace with ourselves, so that we can be happy, whole, and complete. When we have all these fears, right, a lot of times it's because something that we've been through before, somebody hurt us. Maybe we hurt somebody and now we're feeling a little guilty. We don't, you know, there's all these feelings that are keeping us from moving forward, from being happy because of something that happened in the past. And until we do the work 
to heal, to release whatever those traumas are, to you know get over whatever limiting beliefs may be standing in your way, so that you can truly open up and be vulnerable, which is kind of what's required to be truly intimate with someone, then we're going to be stuck. And it's interesting, if you go to Twitter, um, search for hashtag blurred dating, B-L-E-R-D dating. Uh, it's, uh, I love blurred dating. I am so looking forward to next month's chat. Um, and I'll probably go back and just read through the tweets. Um, I believe it was Dr. Vibe from the Dr. Vibe show who said that, um, I forget, I should have looked it up, but it was, we started talking about how, you know, it's almost easier just to have a casual relationship or friends with benefits relationship than it is to be in an actual relationship. And one of the comments that I made is, yeah, it's really easy just to have sex. It's a physical act. But to truly be intimate with someone, to let someone inside, to let them see you naked emotionally, naked mentally, naked spiritually, for them to be able to really unlock who you are, not the person that you pretend to be, not the facade, not the mask, not any of that, for them to truly see you, it requires a level of vulnerability that a lot of people don't have, that we're afraid of because we've been rejected, because we've been hurt. So healing is so important. And um, a couple of the brothers on the chat really brought up, they talked about things from a men's perspective, which I thought was amazing. That really added a special flavor to the chat because a lot of times when we think about dating and relationships, we look at it from a woman's perspective, a woman's point of view. And sometimes we tend to forget that men also have feelings, right? They have to deal with rejection and the same things that we deal with. However, women have more of an open space and um, just open way of being to really process things emotionally, whereas men have been told emotions are bad. You cannot express emotions. You've got to be strong. And so again, we talk that kind of, you know, took a turn to talk about toxic toxic masculinity and um i mean there's so many layers and levels but one thing that i do know as the spiritual love healer in my personal and professional life is that if we're not doing the work on ourselves to heal the things that hurt us whether it was when we were little whether it was when we were adults whatever the case may be those things follow us and sometimes we can make those stories who we are instead of letting the stories go so we can be who we're supposed to be. And so those are some of the takeaways that I received from the Blurred Dating Chat. And I just thought it was really amazing and I uh, just wanted to share that. So yeah, um, I'm really excited and just really look forward to opening up more dialogue about healing and just talking about relationships and spirituality different aspects of life as it relates to us because everything is everything is related everything is connected and the way that we see things play out in our lives um, I do believe everything happens for a reason and um, even in the not so good things because we talked about rejection and what do we do how do we handle rejection and one of the things that I, I said was you deal with it, you process it, if you gotta cry, whatever, cry, scream, yell, let it out. And then you pick yourself up and you keep going and you live. What happens a lot of times is when someone rejects us or a relationship goes south, whatever the case may be, we internalize that and we start to think something is wrong with us because they did not want us. We start to think that we're not pretty enough, we're not smart enough, we're not rich enough, we don't have nice enough clothes, we don't have this and we don't do that and all of these things and it's never about us. One of the things that I've learned and I tell my clients is that if someone turns you down, like celebrate, clap it up, be happy because why would you wanna waste your time you know, either being strung along or being mistreated by someone who truly did not want you. So when someone tells you like, nah, you're not it for me, that is absolutely a blessing because they did you the honor of telling you the truth. Yes, it probably does not feel good. It can be uncomfortable, but the beautiful thing is you don't have to waste your time. You can be like, all right, 
now I can move on and find what is truly for me. You cannot miss out on something that is yours. So yeah, when it comes to rejection, it don't feel good. It doesn't. Nobody likes being rejected, but it's part of life. And in dating, as with anything else, risks are involved. So we have to learn to kind of roll with the punches. Like, okay, this didn't work. That's fine. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't take away from me. It does not make me less than. I'm going to keep on pushing on. You know, I learned a couple of things from this interaction. Let me see if I can switch things up going forward and see, you know, who I meet next. How can I apply what I learned in this situation um, to better myself. And so there's always a lesson in everything. Don't take rejection to heart and allow yourself to be open, to be honest, and to be vulnerable so that you can deal with, um, so that you can be with someone, so that you can truly be intimate and allow yourself to open up to the love that you truly desire. So I hope that you enjoyed my little random video. I'll be making many more of these. Um, be sure to follow me. I am the Spiritual Love Healer on Instagram. You can also find me at thespirituallovehealer.com. Peace and blessings. I will see you next time.